Dear students, this magnificent stadium is being built in close cooperation with the Board of Education. Soon, you will be enjoying the latest in sports equipment, and I personally am delighted since my duty is to provide you with the finest working conditions possible and in all areas, both intellectual and athletic. Since, as Juvenal said, a sound mind in a sound body. Wow, can he talk? Do we really have to listen to all this? Not really. You could have stayed with Jeremy if you wanted to. What's Einstein up to anyway? The usual. He's glued to his computer screen in a big cyber conversation with his darling Alida. Just a couple of calculations to go, and my devirtualization program will be completed. And do you really think it's going to work, Jeremy? Do I have a chance of finally becoming materialized in your world and becoming somebody, somebody like you? I sure hope so. Anyway, there's one thing that I'm sure of. I've never been as close to the answer as I am now. Oh, honestly, it's so hard to imagine. We can be face to face in the same room. We can touch each other, even kiss. Uh, yeah, that'd be, uh, mm. Uh, interesting. I mean, well, uh, I guess. Now, uh, get ready. I'm starting the test program. I'm up to the job, if I'm good enough for such a complicated program. I'm sorry, I'm just tired and jumpy, that's all. I'd better go and stretch my legs. See you later. Huh? Jeremy? Hey, what's this? Another one of Jeremy's materialization programs. Oh, wow, candy! How many times have I told you not to touch my computer when I'm not here? There are months of work in there. Relax, Max. I didn't hurt your little toy. Oh, no, you're such a cosmic creep. Now look what you've done. Those keys are incredibly sensitive. Okay, okay, a little piece of candy's not gonna wreck your keyboard. Huh? That's crazy. This is really mega insane. It works! <laughs> Odd, you're a genius. You know that? Hey, make up your mind. Am I a, a genius or a creep? You're a creepy genius. You didn't do it on purpose, but by dropping the candies on the keyboard, you modified and relaunched my program. I, I don't know exactly what happened, but it works. Thanks, Odd. Who's an Einstein now? Are you going to materialize Alita? Well, yeah. The problem is I only get one try, and that's it. But that's because I didn't see what kind of programming the candy typed in. Yeah, so? There's only one I need. Go and tell the others. I'll announce the good news to Aelita. Yumi, it's now or never. We may not get a second chance. What if there's some kind of bug? I'll never be able to set up the program again. Listen, you can't just materialize Aelita like that without making a lot of preparations. I've boosted the scans. I've got the program going. Everything's ready. Yeah, in your head. Hey, come back to Earth, Jeremy. Try to be practical for once. Aelita has no parents, and she hasn't got a birth certificate. What's more, she's not enrolled in any school. Oh, okay, that's no biggie. But all that together means she doesn't exist in our world. Imagine, hello, I'm Alita. I just got here from a virtual reality. That's a one-way ticket to the nut house. You know, Jeremy, it doesn't have to be today. I can wait. <sighs> well, what do we do now? I can put her up at my house. My folks wouldn't mind. And you can plug into the city hall computers and create a phony identity for her. Find her a new name, all the stuff she needs. Then you just have to enroll her at our school. I try to put her in our class. That'd be really cool, huh? OK, we'll get started first thing tomorrow. Virtual beings never sleep. I can't sleep a wink. 
I can't stop thinking about your materialization and it's keeping me up. You can't imagine all the things you're going to discover in our world. You mean like sleeping? <laughs> That's right. That and all kinds of fun things. Tell me more. <laughs> touch an object with your fingers, you have a sort of sensation. It could be a feeling of softness or of heat. It could be cold. Oh, I see. Oh, I thought you only sensed with your brain. That's right, but it's a little more complicated. Here on Earth, everyone has five senses. You, Ailita, you only have two of them. Hearing and seeing. You can only see and hear. Speaking of hearing... Soon you're gonna be able to touch and to... Jeremy, I think I just heard Santa. He's up to something. What's all that noise about, I wonder? Jeremy, the Xana's launched an attack. Okay. Listen, Ailita, go and hide in a deactivated tower. I'll contact you from the factory. Odd, wake up! Xana's attacking! Odd, wake up! What was that? What did you say about carpet attacking? Ulrich, get up! It's a Xana alert! Uh, 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 uh. What did you say? I said it's a Xana oh. alert! Xana's attacking! Hey, you always sleep with those things in your ears? Yeah, Odd, always. And one of these days, I'll tell you why. Huh? <laughs> no need to look any further, guys. This time he picked a real winner. He's attacking us with bulldozers. Nice going, Santa. How subtle can you get? Jeremy, rush over to the lab and call Yumi. Odd and I are gonna try and stop these monsters. <laughs> Should be there soon. And now let's hope that Yumi and Ulrich are on their way. Ulrich? He's on the bulldozer, trying to find out what Xana's up to. Ulrich, do you read me? Bad news, Jeremy. I'm on the riverbank, and I'm afraid Xana's target is the factory. That's gotta be it. 
If Santa manages to destroy our factory, we can say goodbye to our equipment. No more computer, meaning no more communication with Lelita. Don't forget about the scans. Without them, no more transfers to Lyoko. And that means total victory for Xana. Ulrich, listen, Odd's just about to go it alone. So if you don't mind, hurry up. I'll do my best, but I can't promise you a graceful entrance. Transfer, Odd. Scanner. Virtualization. Oh, hello, Odd. You're looking stressed. No, I'm okay, Alita. It's just that I never know what I'm gonna find whenever I come here. Come with me, Odd. The activated tower's this way. Okay, let's go and check it out. with Ulrich. Where was he when you last spoke to him? He was heading for the factory with the bulldozers. Right. I'm almost there. I'll find him. <sighs> that way. Talk about a reception company. Usually roachers move in groups of five. Wow, and it looks like the committee's at full strength. <sighs> oh! Oh! Hello, Roachsters. Now, which one of you wants to be first? Remember? You want to trade places, Jeremy? Oof. <sighs> oh, Ulrich! Ulrich, get up! Ulrich, hurry up! Oh! 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 I wish it were only up there. Oh. How's Odd doing? Jeremy, I'm starting to get a little lonely out here. That answer your question? <laughs> gotcha. Okay, Odd, Yumi's on her way. As for Ulrich, let's just say he's fast asleep. 
Yes, that must be tough. I mean, with that as earplugs. <laughs> she has to worry about. I just had a vision. I saw Yumi falling into the digital void. Virtualized forever? Hey, Yumi! I heard him. I'll go and help her. What? Come on, Ulrich. Take a look at yourself. The shape you're in, it'd be crazy. Odd. Help me. I saw Yumi fall. Transfer Ulrich. Scanner. Virtualization.
never would have thought it was possible for one of us to become... It's all my fault. If I had been faster, she would still be here. But there is a solution, and Jeremy knows what it is. The materialization program. It's operational, but Ailita has to give up her place to Yumi. Can you bring Yumi back here? Yes, but I can only materialize one person. One and only one. Then choose Yumi. She's part of your world already. <sighs> it's okay. I can wait a little longer. Okay, Alita. But first of all, I it's need all to track so down Yumi in the digital sure. void. It's all right, Yumi. You're gonna be okay. Welcome home. Oh, but how did you get me back here? I'm happy, and at the same time, I'm sad. Why? At least you know the program works. You just have to set it back up again. <laughs> yeah, nothing to it. I have faith in you, Jeremy. <laughs> One day you'll get me there, I'm sure. <laughs> Hey, Jeremy. Want some candy? Hey, what are you doing with that? It's mine. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Okay, no problemo. Here you go. Come on, have one. Candy can fix anything. Even a broken heart. If you say so. Oh. 